is Kate London Bond, and welcome back to another video of love. <laughs> so, on today's episode of Vlog Must, this one's a little different. Today, we are cooking with Kay. Period. I'm Kay, by the way. Um, and so, today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I make my chili. Um, I have a gingerbread decorating competition tonight, which you'll see in another video. And I thought it was a good idea to show y'all how to make chili the easy way, just in case y'all want to make some chili. And before you like, girl, why you on here looking crazy? Like I said, I gotta get ready for the gingerbread decorating. So we're gonna get into the looks later, but for right now, let's get into the chili. Okay, so for my recipe, I use ground beef. Um, which is actually thawing right now. That's why it's in this bowl. Um, and I bought just another thing of ground beef because it's a lot of people. And I just want to make sure we have enough. Um, I use Rotel. I use the mild one because I don't like it too spicy. Okay. Um, and I got a big one. And then a little smaller one just in case you need more. Um, your choice of seasonings. This is just some of the ones I use. But you use whatever you want. I use onion, powder, garlic powder, cayenne, pepper, Tony's and then whatever else I feel like grabbing along the way I grab. Okay. Then I also add red beans to mine. Um, not the juice, just the beans, but we go get into how I do that. Um, so I just bought two of those just because I never made this much food for how many people. So I actually went big on lost stuff just to make sure I have enough. Um, then I use these chili seasonings and cornbread duh. And I'm going to personally add some sausages to mine. These sausages are Zumo's brand, which is a brand back at home. So if you know, you know, baby, Zumo's going to eat every time. But whatever sausage you like will also do. So, yeah, these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. It's real simple, real easy. You can make this anytime it's a fast recipe. It's not like I'm in here throwing down, but, you know, let's get into it. Okay, so first you want to get all your meat in a bowl. I have a bunch of meat, so I have to do an increment. But you want to get all your meat in the bowl, and then you want to season it and get it all in there and move it around as you do it so it can get all over. I'm going to show you. As you see, I got some seasoning in there, so I'm just, I just start to like mesh it around and kind of like mix it in. That way, like, what's not seasoned can come to the top, and what's seasoned can kind of move around a little bit. Seems like a piece in this. I'm just chunking it in here, as y'all can see, because, girl, we got a lot of meat to season. Don't be stingy. Alright, so I got most of it seasoned, but I'm also seasoning it as I put it on the um, pot. Because like I said, I never did this big of an amount, so I tried, this is hard, I'm trying to season all this, this little bit of this little bit of thing. So I done rose up my things. I'm going to put it for this one. First batch of me cooking, and as y'all can see, I need two pans just to do it. This is the first batch, I got two more of these to go. But, so now you just let it brown. Step two is to just let your meat brown. So, um, we're going to let it brown. I usually let it sit probably about 10 minutes. I flip it here and there just to make sure all of it is browning equally. And then, yeah, we're going to move to the next step after that. So, when you get to this point, this is how you know it's brown enough. Like, it should be looking like this. Okay, then after this, we're going to strain it. So, now we're just going to strain it. And so, you just pour it into a thing. Ah, this burnt! Okay, I just had to go in raw and cook it. <laughs> I just like to kind of move it around, make sure you get all the grease out there. We don't want nobody's stomach getting hurt. Right. Okay. And purr, get all that, get all that grease out of there. Pour it in the trash if your family don't like that, but you know, that's it. Ah, uh -uh, So now I'm dead to me this brown. brown. We got one still cooking over there. But now that the meat is brown, we're going to add the um, chili sauce to it. Now, most of the time, 
you probably only gonna need one. I always get two to be on the good side, but I mean, I got three in my case because I'm making so much. But you just gonna mix that in there, and this is just what's gonna give it like the little chili taste or whatever. And so once you get that into the pot, you just mix it in there, mix it in there. The uh, the grease will make it um, not be so dry. But yeah, you just mix that in there really good. Um, of course, I am going to be using more than one pack, but I'm just mixing it in there. Mm, it's already starting to smell good over here. Uh, so let me grab one more pack. Okay, so I'm mixing some more in there. You want it's gonna it should look like um the picture pretty much <laughs> once you have it mixed in there. Okay, so we got the seasoning in here. So now that the seasoning in here, it's time to add the bottle. So you're just gonna strain them out because we don't want this salty, nasty juice. We just want the beans. So we just gonna strain them out. You have your choice, but preferably rinse them off and just rinse them off because you. Alright, so now we got the bottle. We just gonna take a can opener and bust this open. Okay, I finally got this open. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. Dump some in there. Get some more. This is kind of like the water in a way, like it's gonna make it like wet as it needs to be. And you can also add water after, but first I add this. I'm gonna need the other jar, so hold on. So I got the rotel in the boat. And I'm just mixing it in there really good. And so then, once you got to this point, the chili is on its way to being done. The only thing left to do pretty much is add some water just so I can have some juice. This is up to your liking if you prefer a dryer. You don't have to add as much if you prefer to be like more soupy. Add more, um, completely up to you. I'm going to probably add a cup um, in each pot and then I'm just going to eyeball it as I go. Um, once it starts cooking down, we'll get back into it. And then I'm gonna share what I'm gonna do with the sausages. So these are the sausages. Um, don't ask me why I used the smallest cutting board we had, but that's just how I felt. So I'm just gonna like dump them into there. Um, sausages are pretty much already cooked, at least the kind I'm using. So um, all you wanna do is let them brown with the rest of it. So while the rest of this is over here cooking down, I'm just gonna mix these sausages in here and let them pretty much do what they do. So you can add as many as you want to. I wouldn't make it too meaty, but uh, I added about two sausages in this one, and I'm going to add two in the other one, so, yeah. That'll be it. The cornbread on camera, but I pretty much followed the recipe on the box. And this is how it comes out so perfect.